Hi, my name is Galina and I'm very happy to introduce you my new Russian language video course for beginners. And this course was created for people who want to learn day-to-day -day Russian. Unfortunately, it is not a business course or some other rocket science course. But if you want some business topic or maybe some business Russian lesson, please let me know and I will create this lesson especially for you. In this course, I'm planning to create two types of lessons. One is vocabulary lesson and a grammar lesson. And every week I will try to upload one or two videos from each category. By the way, today's lesson will be a little bit out of this category, as it will be some kind of uh, introduction lesson about Russian alphabet and Russian reading rules. All additional information, links, uh, accounts, you can see on my website, notsforu.com. And also you can follow my Facebook page, Notes for All Online Russian Lessons, where you can find all upcoming lessons and you will know where and when to watch it. Okay, and before we start, I want to give you a few tips which uh, will help you to learn Russian in a faster and maybe more convenient way for you, as you, you don't need to go to any courses and you don't need to buy CDs or special books for this course. You just watch the short videos and I hope uh, you will have success uh, in learning Russian. So, my tips for you. First, you have to create a schedule for your lessons. Of course, if you will do just one short lesson in two weeks, it won't make any sense. I better have uh, short lessons but more frequently. For example, three or four short lessons every week. And my lesson will be just 10 or 12 minutes long, so not more. And uh, please keep the schedule and follow the schedule. Uh, don't uh, miss your lessons without any good reason. Second, of course, you should keep notes. Um, if you like handwriting, you can write yourself and if you want, you can go again to my website and download all documents and printouts and just keep them in some folder. Also very useful tip is uh, to use stickers. On the stickers you can put uh, Russian words, a new Russian words, and you can put the stickers everywhere in your house. And every time you look at them, and uh, you will remember new Russian words faster. And of course, you have to practice as often as you can. Don't be shy if you do mistakes. Everyone, everyone does mistakes uh, at the beginning. Ask your Russian friends to talk to you in Russian, uh, to send you Russian messages. Uh, to WhatsApp you in Russian and you also can reply them in Russian and you will see how fast your Russian will be improved. So this is uh, introduction tips uh, from me and now we can start learning a Russian alphabet. Russian alphabet consists of three of 33 letters, 10 vowels, 21 consonants and two special silent signs. Here you can see uh, a typing option and a cursive option. And you can notice that many of, uh, of the letters look very similar with English. I divided all Russian alphabets into few categories and we will learn each category separately and we will start with the easiest category letters that are same with English you can say they are almost same A, K, M, O, T and uh, one more thing for you Russian letters uh, have their names as English A, B, C, D, E, F, G in Russian, we also have names A, K, M, O, T. 
but it will not help you in learning Russian. So I will just mention sounds, not uh, names of uh, of the letters. A, K, M, O, T. And we will start letter by letter. A, of course, it's the simplest letter in every language. It's pronounced like A in the word father and it cannot be anything else apart from A. And Russian example Ananas. After every letter I will give you a word to learn and by the end you will know a lot of new Russian words. Ananas. It's a pineapple. And you can look at a cursive option. K. It's pronounced like K in the word cat. And Russian example kot, which also means cat. And you can see uh, a cursive. M. Pronounced like M in the word main. Russian example mama. Of course, it's mother. And handwriting also you can see. O. Pronounced like O in the word OR. I put a star symbol here. Why it is like this I will explain you later. But I can tell you now that it is not always O in all cases. Uh, this letter can make different sounds, but we will discuss it later. Right now just remember main sound is O. And Russian example is oblaka, which means cloud. Cursive is quite simple. T. Pronounced like T in the word tap. Please look at small letter and note that it's quite different from English small t. It looks like a big T. And Russian example tourist. And you can guess it's a tourist. And handwriting look quite a small handwriting T like a looks like English letter M. Uh, and now we will learn confusing letters. They are confusing because they look like English letters, but they sound completely different. V, Y, N, R, S, U, H. You can see they look exactly like English letters, but they give different sounds. Let's start. V. Pronounced like V in the word VAS. It's equivalent to the English letter V. But you can see that it looks like English letter B. A Russian example. VAZA. Which means VAS. And here it's a cursive. Y. Yeah. Note that it also letter with a star symbol and you remember what does it mean it's pronounced like ye in the word yes or e in the word met but this letter can not make only this sound it can make different sounds as well we will discuss it later russian example poest which means train meter which means meter and of course, if you can see, n pronounced like n in the word nose, equivalent to the English letter n, but it looks like English letter h. It's n. Russian example nos, which means nose. R. Uh, I think we cannot find exact equivalent in English because a Russian r. R, it's a little bit different from English R. Russian is more uh, a rolled R, R, R. And Russian example, motor, which means motor. And a cursive here for you. S, pronounced like S in the word C. It's equivalent to the English letter S, but it looks like C. A Russian example, sport, which means sport. And a cursive. U. 
pronounced like U in the word should. In Russian example, Ulitka, which means snake. But this letter looks like English Y. It has very different sound, U. And the cursive. H, pronounced like H in the word hello. But some people say that it's closer to K in the word loch. So it's kind of double sound, K, H, H, H. A Russian example, хорошо, which means good, well, okay. Хорошо. Now let's repeat all new words that we learned today. Ananas, pineapple, cot, cat, mama, mother, облако, cloud, tourist, tourist, vaza, vase, поезд train, meter, meter, nos, nose, motor, motor, sport, sport, ulitka, snail, хорошо, which means good, well, okay. So if you have a time, please repeat uh, all our new alphabets and new words and in the next lesson you will learn more Russian alphabets and more Russian words. And congratulations, you finish your first Russian video lesson. And I will see you soon, this week or maybe next week, uh, and you will get more new lessons for you to learn. Goodbye!